हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू हैप्पी स्टडी क्लब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फिफ्टीन इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर सेक्शन विच आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर नबार्ट एंड दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट फाइव फॉर एग्रीकल्चर सेक्शन फॉर नबार्ट ग्रेट ए सो फर्स्ट वन इज वर्ल्ड फूड डे वर्ल्ड फूड डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन थर्ड अक्टूबर सिक्सथ अक्टूबर सिक्सटीनथ अक्टूबर और सेवनटीनथ ऑफ अक्टूबर सो द एंसर इज सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज सिक्सटीनथ ऑफ अक्टूबर ऑन वाई वर्ल्ड फूड डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन सिक्सटीनथ ऑफ अक्टूबर बिकॉज बिकॉज एफ ए ओ द फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉज फॉर्म्ड इन वॉज फॉर्म्ड ऑन सिक्सटीनथ ऑफ अक्टूबर नाइनटीन फोर्टी फाइव नाइनटीन फोर्टी फाइव ओके सो एफ ए ओ फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉज फॉर्म्ड इन सिक्सटीनथ ऑफ अक्टूबर वॉज फॉर्म्ड ऑन सिक्सटीनथ ऑफ अक्टूबर नाइनटीन फोर्टी फाइव एंड एफ एज एन एजेंसी ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशंस इट हैज इट्स मेन मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू डिफीट हंगर इन बोथ डेवलपिंग एंड डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज so 16 october is the uh, is the date when the world food day is observed now th- uh, which day is observed on 3rd of october on 3rd october world habitat day is observed world habitat day is observed and on 6th of october Uh, world wildlife day is observed on 6th of october world wildlife day is observed and on 17th of october international poverty day is observed okay uh, so on uh, 3rd october world happy day day is observed on 6th of october world wildlife day is of observed and on 17th of october international poverty day is observed so Um, but uh, the correct our correct and an- correct answer of this question is 16th of october world food day is observed on 16th of october now next one is egg production or poultry is related to which of the following revolutions golden revolution black revolution blue revolution or silver revolution so the answer of this question is the silver revolution silver revolution is associated with egg production or poultry this we have already discussed in in the previous video that is part 2 of of this series uh, so if you haven't watched that video then you can check check it in the playlist nabar 2018 play, named playlist so golden revolution is associated with fruits production black revolution is associated with petroleum production and blue revolution is associated with fish production so these are the different answer of revolutions and the answer of this question is silver revolution that is which is associated with egg production and poultry now next one is which of the following icr institutes is located in karnal so Uh, uh as we as we know that icar icr is an important organization which is responsible for coordination coordinating education and research in agricultural research in india okay uh, there are several institute un- under icar wa- which are very important for your examination so icar was founded in the year 16th of july on icr was founded on 16th of july 1929 okay 1929 it is very important to know when it was established that is on 1929 16th of july and on 16th of july icr day is being observed okay on 16th of on 16th of july icr day is being observed so now the question is which of the following icr uh, icr institutes is located in karnal so is it indian agriculture research institute indian institute of maize research 
नेशनल ब्यूरो ऑफ प्लांट जेनेटिक रिसोर्स नेशनल नेशनल रिसर्च सेंटर फॉर ऑन प्लांट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी और इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वीट एंड बार्ली रिसर्च सो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज फिफ्थ वन इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वीट एंड बार्ली रिसर्च इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वीट एंड बार्ली रिसर्च इज लोकेटेड इन करनाल हरियाणा ओके इट इज लोकेटेड इन करनाल हरियाणा एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द फोर ऑल फोर ऑल फोर इज लोकेटेड इन न्यू दिल्ली ओके न्यू दिल्ली इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट दैट इज आई ए आर आई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज लोकेटेड इन न्यू दिल्ली इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेज रिसर्च इज इज लोकेटेड इट इज ऑल्सो लोकेटेड इन न्यू दिल्ली नेशनल ब्यूरो ऑफ प्लांट जेनेटिक रिसोर्सेज इट इज ऑल्सो लोकेटेड इन न्यू दिल्ली एंड वन बायोटेक्नोलॉजी रिसर्च सेंटर ऑन प्लांट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इट इज ऑल्सो लोकेटेड इन न्यू दिल्ली सो रिसर्च सेंटर ऑन प्लांट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी ब्यूरो ऑफ प्लांट जेनेटिक रिसोर्सेज एंड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेज रिसर्च एंड आई ए आर आई दीज फोर आर लोकेटेड इन न्यू दिल्ली एंड द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज आई सी आर इंस्टीट्यूट विच इज वन ऑफ द आई सी आर इंस्टीट्यूट विच इज लोकेटेड इन करनाल इज इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वीट एंड बार्ली वीट एंड बार्ली रिसर्च विच इज लोकेटेड इन करनाल ओके सो द राइट आंसर इज फिफ्थ वन leaves including veins become yellow and tending towards whiteness so the symptom is given okay symptoms in plants is given over here and you have to tell the deficiency of which element is responsible for the above mentioned visual symptoms in plants so deficiency of which element is responsible for the above mentioned visual symptoms in plants and symptom is leaves including veins become yellow and tending towards whiteness so the element deficiency of element which is responsible for this symptom is copper okay copper copper is the answer now next one is again on uh, deficiency in plants now older leaves will be yellow between veins okay older leaves will be yellow between veins and veins remain green okay and leaves become mortal mortals means uh, it becomes uh, there would be uh, some spots on the leaf okay irregular pattern or spots on the leaf L leaves so leaves become uh, uh becomes mortal also affects chlorophyll formation okay so which deficiency of deficiency so which deficiency of which element is responsible for this symptom uh in plants so um, the element is magnesium deficiency of magnesium is responsible for older leaves to be yellow between veins and veins remain green and leaves become mortal and also affects it also affects chlorophyll formation plant uh, plant uptake nitrogen mostly in which form so plant can uptake nitrogen from soil mostly in both no3 and nh3 form that is both nitrate and ammonium form okay it can take both nitrate and ammonium form but it depends on the environment okay such as temperature light and uh, when uh, the plant is adapted to higher ph okay when the plant is adapted to higher ph then uh, and uh, more aerobic soils when plant is adapted to higher ph and more aerobic soil then it would prefer nitrate over ammonium okay it would prefer nitrate to ammonium okay so it would prefer nitrate when the when the plant is adapted to higher ph okay and when the plant is adapted to lower ph then lower ph value then it would prefer ammonium okay but the answer the question uh, and the answer of this uh, answer of this question would be no3 only okay why why no3 because plant up in this question it is asking plant uptake nitrogen mostly in which form mostly 
it is written mostly so mostly plant uptakes nitrogen in no3 form that is nitrate form okay portion of cabbage is edible means uh, something which is consumable which we can consume which human can consume edible means which humans can consume so edible portion of cabbage is its head okay the correct answer is head or uh, it is also known as vegetative bird okay head refers to head head of cabbage refers to vegetative bird okay bird b u d bird so vegetative uh, vegetative bird can also be the answer of this question okay head next one is propping is the term associated with okay propping means prop to prop means to support to give support to something okay prop means to give support to something so it is a term associated with which of the following maize tobacco banana sugar cane so it is associated with both banana and sugar cane so answer of this question will be would be both banana and sugar cane both is um, both banana and sugar cane is the answer of this propping is uh, is a method which is used in uh, the cultivation of banana and sugar cane um, propping method is used to give support to banana okay banana plant and also sugar cane okay to give support to these type of crops okay propping is the term associated with both banana and sugar cane transpiration is measured by okay now transpiration is the process of uh, process in which water uh, absorbed from the soil is uh, water absorbed from the soil go goes through the stem and uh, mo uh, and um, then it reaches the leaves of uh, the plant okay now from there it evaporates in the atmosphere in the form of water vapor during photosynthesis okay this is the process of now the question is transpiration is measured by it is measured by the potometer answer of this question is the third one potometer now next one is which crop is known as camel crop which crop is known as camel crop sorghum pearl millet wheat or maize the answer of this question is two pearl millet and uh, india is the largest producer of pearl mi millet and rajasthan is the highest producer producing state in india of pearl millet now next one is icr central institute of subtropical horticulture is located in icr indian council agriculture research Uh, Central Institute of Subtropical Horticulture is located in it is located in Lucknow third one is the answer most widely deficient micronutrient in indian soil is most widely deficient micronutrient in indian soil is zinc okay now uh, let's know about uh, essential uh, some essential plant nutrients okay uh, plants no nutrients are, are supplied from air and water or, or either they are supplied from uh, air and water or supplied from soil and fertilizer sources okay uh, if they are supplied uh, if the nutrients are supplied from air and water to plants they are in they are supplied in the form of carbon hydrogen and oxygen okay now when they are um, when the plant nutrients supplied from soil and fertilizer sources then they can be categorized in two parts that is micronutrients and micronutrients okay nitrogen phosphorus potassium sulfur calcium magnesium are macronutrients now why they are called micro micronutrients because these elements are consumed by plants in larger quantity whereas these elements are consumed by plants in a smaller quantity and uh, plant uh, consume these elements these uh, elements in the form of ions okay now next one is which of the following is a micronutrient supplied from soil and fertilizer 
fertilizer sources okay which of the following is a macronutrient supply from soil and fertilizer source from this table we can see that these are the micronutrients which are supplied from soil and fertilizer that is manganese copper zinc iron boron chlorine molybdenum and cobalt and these are the macronutrients now the question is here is most widely deficient micronutrient uh, now the question is here is which of the following is a micronutrient supplied from soil and fertilizer so the answer of this question would be sulfur okay because we these four are the micro um, be, because these four are the micronutrients supplied from fertilize uh, fertilizer and soil okay zinc copper molybdenum and cobalt these are the micronutrients only sulfur is the macronutrient as per the question uh, supply which is supplied from soil and fertilizer sources okay now next one is what is the size of disc plow which is used for primary tillage primary tillage is agriculture preparation of soil okay it is the process of preparing a soil for cultivation or growing crops okay now uh, primary tillage is uh, is the first tillage after the last harvest and it is the tillage when the soil is wet okay now what is the size of this plow at the time of primary which we which is used for primary tillage primary tillage uh, during primary tillage plow is used then you have to tell the size of disc plow used in the tractor for primary tillage so the answer of this question would be what 200 to 400 mm 400 to 600 or 600 to 800 or 800 to 900 the answer would be 600 to 800 mm okay now the next one is also related to tractor and equipment used in agriculture what is the diameter of disc harrow which is used for secondary tillage as we uh, as we, as i just told you that tillage is the agriculture preparation of the soil preparing soil for growing crops is uh, uh, is known as tillage okay now secondary tillage is done after the primary tillage okay uh, one of the main objective of secondary tillage would be uh, soil surfacing leveling the soil surface okay leveling the soil surface okay so the question is what is the diameter of disc harrow which is used for secondary tillage so answer would be the first one 457 to 660 mm so those were some of the important mcq questions for agriculture section for nabard exam so if you find this video useful then please share it with your friends and please subscribe the channel happy study club for getting more videos for nabard exam thank you and have a nice day bye bye